A man is dead after a pursuit that ended in Anthony, Texas. Thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan and I'm Natasha Paloma. Investigators say the man was allegedly driving a stolen vehicle. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in Anthony tonight with what led to the shooting. Good evening, Shelby. Good evening, Andy and Natasia. It is still an active scene out here this evening at this gas station where police did locate that stolen vehicle. If you go ahead and take a look behind me, you can see there is a black vehicle there in the middle of the entryway to this gas station. If you go ahead and pan over a little bit just to get an idea of where we are, this is the Love's gas station in Anthony, Texas. Now, the driver of that vehicle that was reported stolen officers the, with the sheriff, they do say that that driver drove towards officers and ran into police vehicles and that's when shots were fired. Now the sheriff's office says it all began around 2 30 p.m. when the Las Cruces police were notified about a stolen vehicle. The officers located the vehicle and followed it as it headed towards Texas. Now when they approached state lines they called in assistance from Texas law enforcement agencies and that's when Anthony police located the vehicle at the gas station. The vehicle pulled into the uh, the property behind me, and as Anthony Police Department approached uh, the vehicle, uh, the vehicle uh, drove towards, or the, the driver drove towards uh, law enforcement officers. Subsequently, shots were fired. Now, the driver of the vehicle was taken to a hospital but later died, and a passenger in that stolen vehicle was taken into custody for outstanding criminal warrants with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Now, the El Paso County Sheriff's are the lead in this investigation, but they are getting assistance from the Texas Rangers. Back to you. And Shelby, we saw on social media some people saying that they weren't able to have access to their homes. Some of the roads in that area were blocked off. So how's it looking like now? Well, it does appear that most of the roadways are back open. However, as you could see here behind me, there are still police in that entryway to the gas station, but we've seen people going around them. And then while we were heading in this direction, we did see that exit zero, which is that Anthony exit. It did have a vehicle that was blocking it. However, we did see some cars being able to get around that. So at this time, there is still some road blockages, but of course this all happened much earlier in the day, but they are still continuing this investigation. All right, our Shelby Cap reporting for us live in Anthony, Texas tonight. Thank you, Shelby. Well, happening.